Hey guys, Anthony Fontana here. I'm a CPA with EA Tax Resolutions. And today we go over a recent IRS offer and compromise rejection letter that we received. Just like you or I, IRS examiners are people. People make mistakes and we found some. Stay tuned. All right, so here's the rejection letter that we got with the offer and compromise, okay? Don't get too discouraged when you get these rejection, right? Rejection of the offer right there. Don't get too discouraged. We got to make sure we double check the work. Where we double check is in these financial analysis report. You'll see it starts off with the assets and equity table. So what we found out is that they didn't give us the $1,000 exemption on the personal bank account. And we definitely should get that. So they included this $300, which should not have been there. They also included a business car here, which shouldn't be in there. And what we argued here is this, this is what we call an income producing asset and should not go towards the offer. Another one is they didn't give us the exemption amount for the personal car. So you get up to 3450 if you check the 433A OIC. It even says on there you get an exemption up to 3450 on there. So we are arguing that you know we should remove this as well. Be sure to check out my video on how to fill out the 433A OIC. That's uh, essentially what these tables here that the uh, IRS is providing, but just in their, I guess, format, essentially. So be sure to check out my video in more detail on how to fill that out. But uh, these are some of the errors. We did find some more here. Ah, of course. So taxpayers paying more in rent currently than what was previously paid. So those essentially weren't errors on the IRS's end, um, but we were able to address that and uh, decrease their disposable income because they had more living expenses here. And they didn't give the operating expense for the car. So, and I don't know why, why that didn't happen, but nonetheless, we did argue that. Did we find any other errors? Yes. So this taxpayer is self-employed and we provided a, a P&L, but for some reason or another, the examiner did not allow for, this isn't wages, this should have been contracting expenses. He had 1099 contractors working for him. And they didn't allow that. Obviously, very big expense really does change the bottom line on their income. So we ended up addressing that and the IRS did accept uh, that big expense there. So after we got these errors addressed, we eventually did get this offer accepted. I have a previous video that goes into more detail on this exact specific case. Nonetheless, Moral of the story is if you get a, a rejection letter for your IRS offer and compromise, be sure to double check it. The IRS does make mistakes, as you can see, and they will they will address those. They'll, they'll fix the mistakes as long as you kind of bring those up. But if you don't do anything, obviously, your offer gets rejected and you're back to paying you know, the full amount of your debt. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please do the usual. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much.